Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Cambridge Inside Out. I'm Robert Winters. And I'm Judith Nathans. And today is June 23rd, 2020. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, we're rocking along here. Uh, Are we? The, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, we are on the political front. I think our our intrepid city councilors oh, are going to be yeah. having one more regular meeting uh, oh, 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 next week. Oh, just one more, and then they're going to go to full. And then they go for the summer break, uh, and oh, then they'll oh, be back oh, in late July. Yes, because oh, that uh, is the schedule, but, right? But they are now actually but. scheduling committee hearings. Uh, committee yeah, they meetings have a lot for, of them. There's human services and veterans. It has one. There's uh, two ordinance. from ordinance. There's like all of these things. From yeah, ordinance. there's the housing yeah. one and then there's the bike plan one. Uh, right. Those are Vish, huge. Yeah. But I think there's also one from Zondervan on like public safety about use of police force. So those right. are the four it's, that it's are scheduled busy. in re yeah. relatively rapid uh, succession. So will they be Zoom meetings? Still? Yeah, every, everything's still Zoom, and okay. uh, you know, for hmm. better or worse. And I, you know, it's it's an interesting question. You know, you can say you might meet the minimum legal standard in terms of uh, access and public comment and whatever, but uh, you know, I, honestly, you know, when you put in the you know the fact that it has to be done only in Zoom, it does very much change sort of the nature of mm. public input. Uh, you know, one way or another, it just it definitely changes it. That's to, fair to say. So, right. Yeah, but so anyway, that's yeah. that's what's happening uh, in okay. there. Um, but I thought maybe one thing we could do is sort of step a little bit outside of the politics momentarily and just to yeah. talk a little bit about oh, what's yeah. happening around town. Yeah, visually, I, I like right. that. Yeah. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna switch off here to um, uh, a little bit of a uh, some scenery that's uh, happening okay. around town. All right. So okay. yesterday, I mean, I think a lot of people know about this, but you know, since so many people are kind yeah. of holed up indoors, they may not actually know about some of what's going on. You know, they, oh, they can't be indoors anymore. Are you kidding me? It's been three and a half well, months. Yeah, but the thing is, is that even when people go out, they they go they they have like new routines, which may okay, not. Okay, you're right. So they haven't been down. I have not been down at this. This is now the old uh, Leechmer Station. The yeah, actually, this is a, a little bit of a longer shot going right. toward the. Toward the river. Um, this right. is from oh, over by Leech Station, looking down toward where it's actually coming over the Charles River. So this is uh, what you see here is the Charles the viaduct, oh, uh, and it's okay. down around oh, where the wow. prison point, the road to prison point was or it is. Oh yeah, is. yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Wow. So they're in the process of no, both knocking down the new uh, the old structure, yeah. but also putting uh, in the new structure for the Green Line extension, which oh, will wow. be following a bit of a different route. By the way, there's a phrase I have up at the top there. It says, I'll just yeah. explain it, that cryptic, what time is this station? <laughs> uh, that is a very cryptic phrase. Yeah, what does and that mean? Probably almost nobody knows what it, what it refers to, so I'll tell you. Yeah. When they took down the orange line, uh, the elevated ones that used to go down through to Forest Hill Station, yeah. Um, there was a Dudley Station, right, where they used to have that elaborate um, uh, loop up on top of the station. Um, uh, they, somebody, w you know, so the people are saying, well, where's the new service? What's going on? What about us? And mm -hmm. somebody had put in, like, on two signs on either side of the main entry to the Dudley building. It just said, hmm. what time is this station? Oh, <laughs> and I remember driving by going, well, that's wow. kind of like poetry, you know. And, I haven't uh, been to that station in gosh knows how many. Well, years. everything's changed in Dudley now. True. It's actually not even called Dudley anymore. Now no, it's it's it's, uh, uh, it's Nubian Square. Nubian Square now, yeah, yeah. 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 But um, but anyway, that's what the what time is the station? Because now here you go tearing down the uh, the old Green Line uh, viaduct. Lichmere, right? Yeah, at Lichmere, who, which Al Valucci, by the way, used to call. Yeah. Used to insist that it's supposed to be pronounced Lechmer. Oh come but, on. Uh, well, maybe it is, but you know the way language works is if everybody pronounces something one way, I guess for yeah. a lot of people that's what it is. So that's I true. I insist yeah. on saying gerrymander because oh, that's right. yeah. Gary it was his name, but a lot of people will absolutely insist on saying gerrymander even though it's ridiculous. And if you look it up in a dictionary, people say that's yeah. perfectly fine. So this okay, is this so is sort of looking is, back, okay. uh, and you can still see the you yeah know, we're left of the actual viaduct and presumably the new structure will will patch into the old here so they'll keep that more part. Or less. Yeah. yeah now um you can see here this is looking you know just mm -hmm. if you uh kind of parallel to where the Vluchi fountain is um at uh, leachmere canal fountain. okay 
Yeah, oh, the fountain, yeah, right. you know, across yeah. from the food court. So this is there. The, oh. There was still one remnant of the, oh, the right. structure. Look at that. yeah. That's the, that's all that's left now of the, the structure. Um, you know, sort of looking uh, uh, northward across um, uh, McGrath O'Brien oh, Highway. Robert, I mean, now that I see this, did you ever photograph the big dig when that came? I mean, it was similar, right? They took down a, a thing that was. You know, I have some things, you know, and I certainly have photos when they and first they opened the Zaykum Bridge. Tunnel, right? and they made I have, I have a lot of photos yeah. of the old, yeah. um, the old highway bridge. Yeah, yeah. The high bridge, as they called it, and as well uh -huh. as when they were yeah. the, um, when the new bridge was under construction, right? Yeah. The Zaykum Bridge, you know, right. and Barry, I have a lot of photos of that I took, for sure. I love watching stuff get built. Oh, uh, yeah. And here you can see the, oh, the new green line. All right, this now is, where what town are we in now? Right now, this is this is, this is the, the, right here in the foreground. What you would have seen this yeah. is where the viaduct was until a week in, a week ago. Oh my goodness! Uh, and this was where you kind you kind of came through from over on North Point over to get over onto Cambridge. All right, so Leechmere right uh, is over there. Okay, oh, Leechmere is right wow. off to the left out of the image. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. The thing is, Meanwhile, the, the new Look at yeah this. the new structure for the Green Line extension, which is going to go through what's now called Cambridge Crossing, is that's all sort of ready to roll. You know, right in there. Uh, so the Green Line is going to be elevated. Just for this section here, just and then it'll be point. actually in a cut for a lot of the pieces as it goes through summer. Right, because it, yeah, it, it's great. So this is this is yeah. it's sort of like you wouldn't even know where you oh, were. Oh my goodness! But Look what that. you're really yeah. seeing here is the foot of Cambridge Street sure. where you used to sort of come across. Where's and that go little under. tunnel that you went under? Is that gone? it's still there? It's still okay. there. It's around where that bus oh, yeah. is. Yeah, I yeah, walked yeah. through that you yesterday. Walked under that to get onto the. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, but it's amazing. It's like everything's out in uh, yeah. open daylight now. It's it's wow. uh, it's something That's brand crazy. new. So wait, yeah, I'm going to uh, ask a stupid question. What's and this? By the way, it's be? looking across here. So is um, there going to be a stop there for for Uh It'll be on the other side. It'll on be the north side, of the the right. highway now. Yeah, as opposed okay. to on the south side of the highway because it no longer will the viaduct come uh, come right. across. Um, McGrath right. Bryant, it'll be right. over there. So, okay. so you see, in fact, it'll be not right here, but it'll be, I forget exactly where the location is, mm -hmm. but you know, it'll basically be, uh, you know, between some buildings and things. It's just, yeah. this kind of weaves its way through yeah. buildings now, right? And then you can see here, this is this eventually this uh, piece of the, That's um, kind of this is where the ramp, down. where the tracks came down right. into the, the yeah. turnaround yeah. at Leechmere. Right. In fact, this, this is, you can still see vestiges of the old. This is the sure. yeah. where the buses would pull up right, right here, or right. you drop people off, and then you could pick up the trolleys on the other side. Uh, this is looking through where the trolley turnaround used to be. There's still mm -hmm. some remnants of the tracks, yeah. but wow. they've for the most part they've all been torn up. Right I'm in trying there. to think of the last time I was on that. I think it was uh, I don't know what it was. I, well, I was there over the last year once or twice. Yeah. You know, and then this is actually looking here uh, at the, you know, back at the yard, sort of where the, uh, where the tracks were, right? Mm -hmm. This is the platform here in the foreground, but there's really nothing left yeah. of it. The bus station, the, the, the sheltered bus yeah. station that's with the 69 there. bus, that's still there. It looks like an well, old you know, barn. The I'm buses sure that'll, are still running, right? I mean, yeah, and, and I'm sure it's sooner or later they'll have to change that structure as right. well. Right, right. But it's, right. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's actually pretty, that's pretty, pretty fabulous. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's sometimes, you know, when we're all kind of sequestered because of uh, COVID, uh, you know, you sort, of, you sort of somehow don't believe that there's progress being made on well, these Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been walking since March, so all these people would have been sequestered. I don't know. I'm sorry. I mean, and I'm of the age when I'm supposed to be sheltering in place, maybe. But anyway, I have seen changes here and there, but not. Yeah. I have not gone that far. I've gone to Kendall. Um, but uh, well, usually my my uh, route is a different route when I go walking. Yeah, I usually uh, go to towards like Harvard Business. You know, up we actually went down this way primarily because we saw yeah, smoke and, and helicopters, oh. and we thought there was a oh. fire. Turns out it was, was over it? in Boston somewhere. Oh. Uh, and by the time we got down there, it was pretty. It was there wasn't yeah. much left of it, but uh, there was something going on down there. But yeah. it gave us a good excuse to go down around Leechmere Canal and 
yeah. you know, check out places I haven't been to in a while. Which is did, you, kind of did you do this when it was really hot? I heard it was really hot. This yeah, I did it in the middle of yesterday afternoon. Yeah. What are you yeah. nuts? <laughs> well, it was a way of avoiding coming back for the city council meeting. Kind of, What's you know? that? So, so I just kind of caught up on that with on the meal oh, a little bit yeah, after okay. the fact. All right. Yeah. 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 No. Anyway, actually, speaking of some of this council actions, yeah, uh, and. I, I might actually switch back uh, in a second about that. Is that yeah. you know we've we know you know for a while all the talk was about shutting that shutting down Memorial Drive as if that was going to be the be all end all of things. Yeah. Um, and it was just done as a two week pilot. Now it's been sort of made open ended for well, the whole Saturday. Season. They they're now it's Saturday. That now was it'll never be Saturdays happened. and Sundays. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. that's. I mean, I can I can see that. I think it's fine. Like during, you know, during the week, uh-uh, no. I mean, to me, as long as you can demonstrate that whatever traffic there is, and apparently there is an increasing traffic now that oh, some things are opening up again. Definitely, yeah. That you're not basically just dumping all the traffic onto a few but couple streets. But I think streets. Weekend, weekend, you're going to have less people coming in from the suburbs going to their work or whatever than you would during during the week. I think it's a bad idea to close it. Um, yeah, I don't think this, the. Uh, um, I mean, I'm sure some of the advocates are kind of want to do. You know, well, but maybe I'm misunderstanding. Do they mean just close all of Memorial Drive on the weekends? Because even that. Um, no, I think it's the River Park stretch. Use the traditional pieces that have. Been no, closed. no, no. I mean, but what's proposed when you hear like Patty Nolan saying? Let's I, I think all it's of Memorial Drive. No, it's not all of Memorial said, Drive. No, but she says end to end. You know, it. You know, these so are the she, yeah, the wacky I'm advocates. Saying. You know, the thing well, is, is that they're not going to be happy until basically all cars are banned. So, yeah. you know, that yeah. every is. You know, I kind of liken it to sort of a military campaign. It's like you have to establish the beachhead, right? You know, and then you keep, and then you, yeah. you, you, you you put your, your yeah. armaments there. You, yeah. you build forts, and yeah. then you hold the ground so that it, you know, like for you know, yeah. let's all hope that the. Yeah. This, all of this disruption from the virus eventually winds its way, its way down and we can return to a better state of normalcy. But I, and, you know, and I some honestly, improved things, yeah. And some improved things, things to be yeah. sure. But, but I, my, my uh, what I suspect is even if some of these modifications of roads or clo clo uh, part time yeah. or full time closures uh, uh, are meant to basically just to provide accommodation during the coronavirus. No, this is permanent. Um, no, I, didn't, I just I don't, don't get that I, sense. I think, no, I mean, the thing is, is that these, a lot of these things are announced not as permanent things, but I think that it's going oh. to be very hard to pull back because the. Oh, yeah. No, the, I, I think it's a. Per, the I beachhead mean, has other, been established. But these other cities, they've never. They're, they're establishing it as a. Well, that's interesting. I have to find out more about yeah. that. Whether I mean, it's, it's, it's temporary. I mean, so for example, if we could, if we could, we have sustained Riverbed Park and the closure of Memorial Drive for decades. Um, so certainly, there shouldn't be any yeah. problem about right. doing that. Now, and, adding, is, and adding Saturday, I think, is a great idea. Saturday and Sunday, yeah. I, I imagine that could work. You know, yeah, it's I hard to it's say, great. really. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and we'll just have to see. Now, what'll be a little bit more interesting is the question of the closure, not closure, the the shared street or oh, slow how that's street gonna work. Yeah. operation I'm of more, I mean, I live, you know, right near magazine, so I'm going to be curious about that. It's yeah, just, so, as I've said in when I email the uh, to responses, that that's a street I will avoid because I have had no problem with social distancing. But I'm not going to share it with bikes and walkers and strollers and yeah. cars and delivery trucks and you name it. I don't need to. I have you know, I, of open space. For I, for a good long while, I've I've I felt that a shared street or a slow yeah. street model is actually yeah. a good way to handle. Oh yeah, you should not bicycle have accommodation. Right. Um, I've yeah. and I even wrote one of my little snarky comments for the council yeah. meeting the other day um, that you know even when they put that two way bike lane on uh, oh, uh, Brattle yeah. Street. Mm. To me, the better solution would have been to make that entire yeah. segment of Brattle Street just a slow mm -hmm. street, open yeah. to vehicles, bicycles, with like a really radically well, they slow. They get a lot of a lot of businesses there. Yeah. Right. So, but the thing is, is that it would be it would be a lot more logical and consistent if it was yeah. just done as a show yeah. slow street. So yeah. maybe if this gets established and people sort of learn the rules about how you're supposed to operate a vehicle on a, a slow street. Then maybe they can revisit how they well, handle. Right, but who do like people rattle. expect? I guess traffic enforcement will have to enforce the speed. We'll have to have monitoring of this. Who's who's going to monitor this? 
Well, I mean, the enforcement of speed limits is still in the Cambridge Police Department if, they're, if they still exist in the year. But I mean, traffic <laughs> enforcement is a big part of, of a lot of people work in traffic. Well, the you can you know the traffic department, they will so enforce parking, enforcing. but they do parking. They enforcing. don't do speed? No, no. That's the, the police officers are the ones that will pull you over for speeding. Not, nobody from the traffic department. Yeah, but the ones on motorcycles going on the streets. Those are policemen. Yeah. On motorcycles? I thought they're the traffic enforcement. There's 86 nope. of them. Well, where, what are they doing? 86 of them. Traffic enforcement is a division within the police department. I know, but I'm just yeah. saying there's a number of them. So they're not, they're all giving tickets to bicyclists? I don't think so. I, I don't know. Sometimes. I, don't know. I think I they mean, may give warnings, uh, you know, slap on wrist type stuff. It's not a bad thing to learn about what exactly the police do. I mean, they do many things. I think we're. Oh, I agree. Some I of agree. them are very important. And uh, I just said I was a little surprised. Um, yeah. But uh, um, but it, anyways, it'll be interesting to see you know, if if people actually acclimate to the concept of a slow street, yeah. which I hope they do, because I think yeah. there are a lot of other places where that could Absolutely. work pretty well. Right. A lot yeah. of sort of minor streets that could be yeah. little neighborhood streets yeah. that you really do discourage things. Yeah. But but the truth is, is that if there is a, a certain volume of traffic that insists on passing through a city, mm -hmm. the more restrictions right. you have on some roads, it means you, you know, it's conservation of traffic you know the thing is is it yeah. doesn't disappear necessarily well, disappear. people use this Waze app you don't have a smartphone right. people use Waze and they yeah Z E and they go through all other ways and it's just it's right so what you'll see is a, is a lot of movement onto uh yeah. onto other streets alternate right. streets right. now maybe they can accommodate them i mean i think yeah. there's some who engage in tremendous amount of wishful thinking and to yeah. think that oh everybody will just somehow uh, you know the great uh, revelation yeah. will occur and everybody will realize they don't yeah. want to use a motor vehicle and yeah, some right. will some will choose not to but yeah. I think you know and then but people then other people will say oh boy more room for me I better get a yeah, car. I know. Right? Um, so before, I don't want to run out of time I want to talk about the Mabardi, the old Mabardi site, or is it still? Yeah, you know, okay. The whole recycle, yeah, let's talk about that. So, that so there, was, the, uh, there was a hint during the budget hearings from Owen Reardon about the public course is going to actually swing some sort of deal for some alternate space just to relieve some of the oh, crowding. Okay, so it was mentioned before, yard. but not where. But they okay. didn't, they, at the time, they didn't want to reveal and where. Identify. Okay. Yeah, so it turns out it was the old Mabardi site up on Mooney Street. In, so they're out? Mabardi's not there anymore? Apparently not. Out? I think that the okay. CJ Mabardi still operates out of Waltham. I see. Um, but it's mainly a trucking company. I don't know right. that they're operating their waste transfer up, uh, right. division anymore. But you had an um, interesting history of that. There is an interesting history. Yeah. You know, so I got a kick out of the fact that the public yeah. works is actually occupied. With some well, of the, the landscaping and some of their trucks and stuff. Yeah, well, just for some of it, because that's there was what the a, quadrangle is supposed to be for light industrial, and we a lot of us talk and this, about whether yeah, that's that be, yeah. certainly a consistent use. But this is a little piece of history about this, which yeah. is. Back when I first took it, in, I mean, I had an interest in recycling because I used to, when I taught originally at Wells College, uh, I used to use the recycling center kind of illicitly all the time. And I said, why don't we get this? And, you know, they had a drop off center there. Then And then one uh, fine April um, in 1989, there was a, a, something in the Cambridge Chronicle saying that there were people getting together. Uh, to talk about maybe being together a volunteer recycling program, an interim recycling program. And, uh, you know, so I went to the meeting, you know, so I was one of the first there and we talked about it and planned it all. Uh, and then by June, we were doing a recycling. The, but why were they, why were they so hot to try to do recycling at that moment? And the answer was, is that the state had developed this solid waste master plan that was going to have, I believe it was 13 materials recovery facilities scattered all around Massachusetts. I didn't and realize it was supposed to be 13. Wow. I think it was supposed to be 13. Wow. Um, and then one of them was going to be in West Cambridge at the Mabardi site. And we said, well, if we're going to have that in Cambridge, hosted in Cambridge, and it's going to be trucking going through there, we have to start getting people warmed up to this idea of having recycling again. So let's start this interim re volunteer. Is ribbon. that how it started? That's how it started. Uh, it was because there was going to be that transfer. That, that But how did that you birth. get, I thought you started. <laughs> no, no, no. I was, they were a very small handful of us yeah. who were at the start but okay. the thing is it was because of the Marty site and so 
and, and Danny, was that wait Danny Park was still a landfill then Danny Park was capped. It was not it was a capped, park it, yet. It, it, yeah, it, it, it looked it like a moonscape capped. up there. Yeah. Right. So okay. we set up two facilities. Originally, one was down in East Street, North Point, when it was barren wasteland. That was then moved to a public works yard. And then we did another one at the salt storage shed up well, at uh, um, uh, yeah. St. Peter's, next to St. Peter's right. Field. Right. So we, we ran those, but it was, it was right. done specifically because yeah. uh, of the, you know, we were expecting, we we're going to do this for a little while. Well, get everybody warmed up yeah. and then we're going to have a regular recycling program but nobody was talking about curbside who started way. curbside pickup was it a summer well, we pickup? we did a like a letter writing campaign yeah. to get that going and but the thing is it was going to happen anyway so i don't i'm not thinking we can take credit right. for starting it so much yeah. but we did we had, used to have like these little cards that we distributed and we had to send these to your city councilors insist hmm. on having a curbside program and that's kind of why cambridge actually got on when stick did it and start? did it 90 uh, 91 uh, it first uh, was put into effect in june of 1991 Okay. Yeah, um, but Somerville beat us to the punch in getting uh, a, a volunteer recycling program, and it was actually Lisa Brucolaccio from Somerville who actually came and mm -hmm. told us how to do it, and right, then but, we just did since it. Since then, yeah. did they go as far as we did with having a recycling corner, you know, director? Um, it, was, it, it was started a little bit differently. It actually yeah. began as an initiative within their conservation commission, which with was a lot of towns. That's what it is. Arlington, it was always yeah. a volunteer thing. Yeah. Um, we you know, were very and, lucky that we had. Yeah, so, that so we paid. did it directly with Public Works Department in the city manager's mm -hmm. office we work right. very closely with the manager's office yeah. which is the reason why to this day i still have a kind of loyalty to all yeah. the people who well, were lisa involved was lisa was one of, one of her really first gigs that. yeah Yay, she was she came on as a, a uh, yeah. um you know yeah. as sort of an assistant to the city manager and we worked very uh -huh. closely with her uh and uh and and actually and the person who preceded her in that role and it was kind of interesting that one she rose to become public works commissioner yeah. for a period of time before well, she came. what i'm talking about it didn't is that when she really pushed the recycling when she no 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 she it was actually before she that. was one okay yeah we, we worked uh, with her actually mean. back in 1991 long oh, before she was public that. works commissioner okay. I didn't yeah know that. yeah we all have this long history that's why I lisa know. peterson richie Rossi and I, yeah, we all sort yeah. of knew each other from yeah, you know, the race we cycling days. Together in those days. Yeah, so and we was, have curbside was, compost. I don't think Somerville has that because I know we're always. I don't know if they have that. Everyone yeah. has done stuff, and we haven't done it yet. Of course, we're not, we're not actually, I don't know when they're going to start recollecting that, maybe soon. I, I know that the Oh, no, 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 you can take it, no, wait, you can take it now you to can the take it to the. To I the did, toters. I took yeah. eight bags that I've been had in my refrigerator. Um, I know they're they're starting to uh, re uh, reignite the staffing levels. Uh, public right, work, but right so now you still have it's twenty four seven too, so you can go to yeah. the side of the it's open but all they, the time. But the yeah. curbside collection may may at some point. Yeah. I don't know when. It's nothing's yeah. been announced, so we'll see how I that know. goes. Yeah. yeah. I know. Uh, by the way, just speaking of the. Uh, um, uh, we have, well, I'm just closure of streets. Of time, four minutes. Um, yeah. So, so one of the things that has been announced over this past week or so is some details right. about how they're going to accommodate some outdoor restaurant seating oh, for right. uh, business right. community. So expa expanding the sidewalks or taking away? Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. primarily for Central Square, Ken, uh, uh, Inman Square, and Harvard Square. Uh, and it's it's not the whole of the square. Although there is a push, I think they want to close down Central Square. Yeah, didn't one day per Councilor week. Simmons have an order about uh, Sundays having Central Square no cars? Right. So okay. So that would make uh, sense. All right. Well, so we're going to close down Memorial Drive. We're going to close no, no, down no, no, Central. No, Square. no. But wait a minute. What was didn't? What did uh, Michael Monison used to have uh, in University Park? Remember on Sundays they had the big right. Thing. So, so now they, they could just have park. it just, just, yeah. to, just in the maybe from cross, you know, cross it's, a, the, uh, it's usually been a kind of a big deal to actually close down all of Central Square. Oh, okay. you well, actually, you're right. If Memorial Drive is going to be closed, and it's then a state numbered it, road, too. Yeah. You know, it's thing is, and there are MBTA buses that are oh, operating that's a along good point. it. You know, there are ways of accommodating it, yeah. you know, and, I, and I think they'll, they'll work something out. But it would yeah. be nice if it actually, at least for the summer months, yeah. uh, we could actually have one day where Central Square just goes wide open. But even on yeah. other days, uh, they are going to uh, expand the sidewalk out into the street. Really? Uh, they're going to still be able to maintain at least one lane of traffic each way, of course. Well, there's buses go all the time along And, so and a lot of cars as well. They're, they're going to find right. a way, but it'll primarily be between like Norfolk down to, um, you know, basically 
you know, the south, uh, okay. southeast portion around here, between <laughs> Brookline and Norfolk Street area. All right. right oh, that's, that's my hood. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's going to happen. And um, in Inman Square, they're going to, you know, bust what's out. That actually, uh, what's happening with that whole uh, reconstruction? Is they're, that on hold? No, I think they've, they've yeah. started back up again now and trying okay. to do the re road reconfigurations in Indian Square. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely happening. There are a bunch of road closures, like Church Street, portions of Brattle Street that'll happen. As oh, part river, of the, the River Street stuff is supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And I don't remember exactly the timeline for when the slow streets are going to be implemented, but I think this Thursday weekend. they're having... This weekend. Is said. it this weekend? Well, so they're yeah, having some sort of yeah. a public meeting just... Yeah, a webinar, Zoom meetings. meeting. I don't know what time, but you can check it out. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, it's all sort of happening, and, and uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. I don't, you know, to me, the jury is still out just how yeah. well this is going to work well it's kind of like a pilot program i guess you could say well i mean the thing is the restaurants the restaurant closures permanent closures being announced oh, all over creation these days and i know this is about surviving to next I year know. for some of these operations so i hope yeah. it really helps to do that yeah uh you know we, know we need it we really do need it and um you know so we'll see how it goes um so I, I think that's mainly the the you know what people All should right. really know about right around now. I mean there are yeah. a few other things. The, the city council did pass the budget. There was all okay. the controversy about the police yeah. department. They did sort of a token reduction. And, was that um, last night? No, no, no. It was last. I thought week, it was but, last week. That's what I thought. Yeah, but the thing is, is that um, you know they did take out some money from the you know, or they I held know. back some money from the police 2. department. Five, I know. But I it's think not that enough. was just that was very much it just was, sort of a political act. I know. Um, but the People, thing is, is yeah. that it was very interesting that they had actually uh, left some positions in the police department yes. vacant for much of this past year because yeah. there's now a graduating right. class of the police academy right. and twelve new police officers coming wow. into That's Cambridge. Great. Uh, a, a okay. very interesting and diverse mix, yeah. I might add. Very so, good. All um, right, we so have like a 20 second, 10 seconds. Not left. even. We're going to yeah, sign like 10 off. 10 seconds. So, anyway. We'll see so. you when we see you. We'll see you again soon, one format yeah. or another, here on Cambridge right. Inside Out. Good night. Bye.